Alright guys, we are back. As you can see, clearly, things have gone very differently for us this time around. Uh, there are much less units because I managed to destroy a lot of them. I went and equipped some crest items to our units, as you can see, and that has a wind dragon sign. So, we're gonna go ahead and finish this turn by allowing Dudu to wall these people. The people up there from those doors that are supposed to come out. Oh, it's all cool. You hate to see it. Oh, you know what? That's good. To do? Or, not to do. Uh, what's his face? Gilbert, you're not moving anywhere. Big crit. Big crit, bro. Gilbert is no longer able to move because of that, but his turn just passed, so it's off of him now. Let's go ahead and restore. I don't think she can restore for herself, which is a bummer. Proceed with caution. But it will allow to do to obliterate this man. Oh my God! A threat eliminated. A threat eliminated indeed. Oh my goodness. We will have Byleth use Bolganong, take this guy out. And unless we miss. Okay, cool, cool, cool. You love to see it. It's fine. Felix can probably take this guy out if his crest decides to pop, which it didn't. We love to see it. Mm, things are just going our way, aren't they? I'll cut through. Let's have Dimitri do some damage right here. Let's let Sylvain put some work in. Never mind. Not enough work to be had. Sylvain, you can't even finish this guy. Okay, cool. 13 damage to this guy. <clears throat> You're out of luck. You are out of luck. Sylvain's gonna back up. Now we have a clear path for my girl Annette to come in here and obliterate this guy. Can't afford to lose. Really can't. Really cannot afford to lose. Okay. Ash doesn't quite finish this guy off, but he might because I did equip the crest of Fraldarius to him, which didn't pop at all. Okay, but it looks like we are going to be able to take care of everyone here. Now, like I said, the goons that are hiding up in this uh, little building here still have not shown their faces. So we're gonna need to lure them out. Over already? Probably with Ingrid. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Let's have Ingrid come around here. We can kill a lance and hope we crit. Come on, 39. Oh my god, Ingrid. You can't throw me a bone. Ash is probably our next best bet to take this guy out. We'll iron bow him. That was tough. Alright, because now what I want to do is just simply heal people up. Alright, feeling pretty good. We did- we hardly had to use any gambits this time around. Actually, I don't think I've used a gambit yet. Which is pretty nice. But that doesn't mean we're totally out of the woods. We are still in some hot water. I- just as I expected, those guys came Here we out. Go. Attack them from both sides. We've Did seen I this before. You're going after a net. I figured as much. 
but she can't be doubled. She can be doubled. Wow, he did exactly enough damage to kill her. That's wonderful. We'd love to see it. This is my duty. Yes, Gilbert, get revenge for your daughter. Proceed with caution. Um, no. That's not even necessary. Just go ahead and use a concoction on yourself. Yep. There. I'm fine with this. Go ahead. Attack a net. Deal 14, which is fine. She eats it up. But now you're going after Sylvain, which is fine. He eats up 16, no problem. I'm really getting well, a little bit of a problem. Taking damage is never really good. Right, nice work, Gilbert. Nice. I'll do my best. Let's take this guy out with fire. Yeah. With the fire and the Ooh, flames. That worked out. It's. I'm on it. Let's have Sylvain move here. Here we go. And let's heal Annette. What should I do? And then we will impregnable wall these three. You can't lose. You can do it. Right Thanks. Stay focused. I'll go. And we will protect Annette with all that we are. Here comes the next group. Well, pair. You can't really call them. Predictable. Yeah. We did miss. What a bummer. Someone's going after <laughs> Not a fan of that. Really not a big fan. And Gilbert's gonna miss. Cool. Alright, let's start with people that can hit and run, like Sylvain. He can hit. He can Got hit and he can run. I'll do my best. Ingrid can also hit and run. You weren't ready. And she goes to level 13. Have I in the process? Alright, so who are we gonna send? I'll give it my all to deal with that guy. Who can attack him furthest away? Probably Happy, but she's out of death. Cool. Here so goes. Next furthest would probably be by left. Let's just go for a thunder. Hope we hit. Yeah. We do connect. You fought well. And then I'll the rest of you can just move on. The soundtrack is so good You can't get over it It's so damn good The yeah. soundtrack is help. peak gaming content Oh my god The soundtrack is so good I love this game so much Convince me otherwise Spoilers, you can't Um, okay, let's start with a good old heal. We can't heal anyone. Well, actually, we can't heal, we just can't visit. Alright, alright, alright. Right. Not a big deal. So, Vayne, we are gonna have you kill your brother. Sorry, not sorry. Ash will be able to deal with this archer that's here. So I guess I'll send Byleth. Or Happy. Maybe Happy. Not sure yet. You know what? Auto battle. Charge. Just move as much as you possibly can.
Let's get Ash up here. Ingrid, you are going to wait because we don't need you dealing with this right now. Actually, Sylvain, you might be able to deal with this. So let's give you a vulnerary. The rest of you, charge. So obvious. So obvious. Violet, I don't know why you're all the way back there. And Dimitri, I don't know why you're going after this guy. Alright, let's have Ash come here. Ash is just so strong, dude. Look at this. He's obliterating this man. Or woman, my part. or whatever. It literally does not matter because you're dead. You can quote me on that. Gender does not matter when you're dead. Don't quote me on that. Oh god. And... Oh, I should have moved a net. That was my fault. No, 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 Gilbert. What are you doing? The rest of you. I guess I'm gonna have to manually move you now that I think about it, because if not, you're just all gonna go after this one man that's literally affecting no one. Just like Gilbert did. Like, stick to the plan, man. There's, there's a way to go about these things. And there we go. Thank you for nothing, Gilbert. Let's go for Bolganon. Not gonna take him out. Oh god, this guy's tanky. Alright, we're gonna go for Aura and hope we crit. No we do crit. Thank you, Bilo. That is that. Thank you for giving Gilbert a reason to leave. Alright. Sylvain, you wait there. Ingrid, you wait there. Ash, you wait there. The rest of you, charge. Sorry about this, guys. We are going to spend a couple of turns just waiting around. Because there's kind of nothing we can do while all of our units are this far behind. I need someone with big magic to do some big damage to this guy. Oh, Byleth. Byleth, Byleth. The movement is suffering right now. I don't know why. Let's see, how much do you do? You do... 8 at most. So we need to get you to do 8 damage. When it matters. Which will be at the very end. Happy is getting close, so we will be able to do that. Just because I'm curious, how much does Ash do? Probably a lot, if I'm being honest. He does 18. I guess an armored unit, that is actually a lot. Get happy close. As close as she can get, that is. Dudu's movement is pretty good. I'm really happy with that, if I'm being completely honest. If I'm being transparent with you all. Violet, come on. You can move better than this. 
Luckily, we're not going to need you to take out this goon. But it would still be nice to know that you're there. Alright, I think we're ready. Because Happy is obviously going to be doing the most damage to this guy. You can leave him on 8 exactly. And you have no chance to crit. We're doing this. So, you think you can take the lance from me? I'll kill you. I'll kill every last one of you! No, no, no. <laughs> Not okay. And Happy grows to level 13. Uh, who do I want to gain this experience? You're level 12, you're level 13. You're level 13, you're level 13. 12, 13, 12. Okay, so I want to be sure to grab this. For sure. And then Dudu could even grab... Ah. Dudu can barely not make it. But we are going to go ahead and just... Throw caution to the wind. Why are you left on one? I don't understand. Either way... Why have you come, you crest-bearing fool? I'm here for the Lance of Ruin, Miklon. Hand it over. I don't want to humiliate you, but I will. <sighs> Hurry up and die already. If not for you, if it hadn't been for you... Shut up! I'm so tired of hearing that. You've always blamed me for something that isn't my fault. Wow. That literally gave me goosebumps. I don't think I've ever heard that line between these two. The music stopped. Oh, that gave me chills. <clears throat> Not bad for your kind. A bunch of spoiled, rotten children. <clears throat> what the hell? Look at the man's body. Oh my god, bro. I can watch these cutscenes forever and not get tired of them. It's so good. Look at that beast. That's a beast of a beast. What the? Miklon? Is that you? That form. Oh my. Is this your first time fighting such a thing? No, no, no. I understand how to so, fight beasts. This is the power of a hero's relic. To create such a sinister beast. It has gone too far. I fear all we can do now is put an end to it. Alright, um... You, my friend, need to not be there. So what I'll do is I will... Huh. I did kind of want to do to grab this anyway, so we can let him tank. Do you'll grab that? Violet. Let's equip the short axe. And wait. We'll have Annette use drawback and pull Gilbert away from there. Because I don't want Gilbert doing something stupid that he'll regret. Because, you know, NPCs. They tend to be like that sometimes. I'm not sure if I want Sylvain to get the final blow again, but it would still be pretty poetic. So I might let that happen. You're getting drawn back even further. We don't want you anywhere near this beast. Unfortunately though, Happy can't do it. That would have been hilarious.
Yes, yes, I understand. 25 times 2. This thing is actually scary dangerous and maddening. Okay. Gilbert does not tank nearly as well as he should. So what that tells me is that we need to take this thing's HP out yesterday. So let's do this. We will gambit with Byleth. I'm with you. Assault proof, thank you. It's time. Oh man, she looks great with that axe. You saw that little spin move she did? I love that. That was cool. And then we will gambit with Ash. We can hit this one, right? And break all of them. I'm here to help. Thank you, Ash. Thank you, Ash, for being so freaking good. Nice. Alright, so you say you want to attack Ash, but it's not gonna happen. I'll let Mercedes heal this fool, this actual buffoon. You're not attacking anyone, so I'm not really all that scared. 47. Come on, Ingrid. Finally, Ingrid lands a trip with this, with this uh, lance. And she can even get out of the way, which is cool. Felix, you can come all the way around here. And as a matter of fact, you have a killing edge, which will probably do big damage. Not quite as big damage as I thought. Uh, let's go for a win. Maybe we'll crit. We did not crit. Alright, here's what I'll do. I will let... I will let the dude take out this health bar. Growing to level 13 in the process. You're going to level 10. One more health bar. One more health bar. Unfortunately, Happy cannot attack, which is a real bummer. Uh, yeah, let's just go for a Tempest Lance here. Dimitri? Did you just perfect this for us? I think he might have. Oh my god. Yes! The poetry. What is that? It's like watching a bad dream come to life. <laughs> The poetry. Don't underestimate. And he crit! And his crest yeah. popped! You little you literally cannot script that. That was too perfect. The poetry was right there. Goddess. The beast is gone, yet Miklon and the Lance remain. It's over. Let's retrieve the Lance and leave this place. Miklon, my brother. Oh, Sylvain. Yeah, yeah, Sylvain better be the MVP. Just like Ash was the MVP for Lonato's. Oh man, this is the, this is the run. This is the playthrough where we're going to have the appropriate MVPs for every map. My thank you so much. That man, his form was changed. It was as though that lance was swallowing him whole. Upon that side, it makes sense that your students were upset. Yeah. I wonder if those relics truly hide such power. Yet even still, that power seems familiar. That form as well. As one who wields the sword of the creator, does that mean you possess that power too? Professor, you have returned. 
The goddess is indeed generous with her divine protection. I have already heard Gilbert's report about what happened. See to it that you keep what transpired at the tower to yourself. People would lose faith in the nobles should rumors spread of one using a relic and transforming into a monster. All regions of Fodland would fall into chaos. We must avoid that at all costs. Please ensure the students who accompanied you understand that as well. Have I made myself clear? Yes, of course. His transformation into a black beast was nothing short of divine punishment from the goddess. Punishment for someone arrogant and foolish enough to use a hero's relic even though they were unworthy and unqualified. You knew? Of course. That is why we rushed to recover it. Sadly, we did not arrive in time. The church will formally return the lance to House Gautier, if you would. So I've never been given this option because it's the first time that I'm playing Blue Lions. And since we've already maxed out our relationship with Rhea because of New Game Plus, I'm gonna make her mad. What is the meaning of this? Ahem. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yes. Lady Rhea, I am overjoyed and beyond grateful to you for recovering the relic of my family, House Gautier. Now, may I please have that lance? I have received direct approval from my father to take possession of it. As the next head of House Gautier, do you swear that you will never cause such a deplorable incident to transpire? On my family's name, and on my brother's life, I swear it. <sighs> Very well. However, I have one condition. You must never allow another to wield this lance. Your brother clearly demonstrated what fate awaits those who break that restriction. Yes. I... I will not soon forget. Yes, bro! Is your meeting over, Professor? Feels good, man. You look troubled. I was just thinking about something. Professor, the possession of relics and crests has been highly valued in Fargus since ancient times. It's far from uncommon for someone to lose their ability to lead their house because they don't bear a crest. Just like Miklon. It happened to my uncle as well. The eldest child of the king, and yet he never ascended to the throne. All families whose bloodlines carry the crests of the ten elites are much the same. But House Gautier takes it a step further, and absolutely requires an heir who possesses a crest. Why House Gautier in particular? To that house, the power of crests is a necessity, not a luxury. House Gautier holds the most northern territory in the kingdom, and they have fought with the people to the north for many years. The head of that house is responsible for protecting that territory from fearsome invaders, whom they keep at bay with the power of crests and relics. In exchange for that responsibility, they are granted special privileges within the kingdom. Strength is strength, with, with or without a crest. I believe the same. Ability cannot be measured by the possession of a crest alone. I believe that Margrave Gautier was wrong to disinherit Miklon, simply because he did not bear a crest. Still, there is always a reason for why such customs stand the test of time. Imagine what this world would be like if no one placed any stock in crests. Bloodlines that carry crests would dwindle. The metaphorical blade used to oppose threats would eventually rust. <sighs> this same argument has been made time and time again across the years. Both sides are at once right and wrong. What do you believe, Dimitri? I believe those with crests and those without should acknowledge the other's strengths and learn to respect each other based on personal merits. And that doesn't apply only to crests. The same holds true for lineage, race, faith, ideologies. If we could just accept each other and make mutual concessions one step at a time, perhaps... <sighs> Who knows if that's even possible. Everyone has something that is unacceptable within them. I certainly do, and I'd wager you do as well. 
I wonder which is best, Professor. To cut away that which is unacceptable, or to find a way to accept it anyway. Professor, you have done well to complete such a difficult task. You have shown exceptional skill in leading your students. I am forever grateful for the safe return of the hero's relic. Just as I expected, you have mastered the sword of the creator. <laughs> now then, I shall tell you about your mission for the coming month. Re Archbishop! Seteth, what troubles you? Flane is missing. I cannot find her anywhere. Professor, have you seen Flane recently? Oh, we're getting to that part. I have not. Have you looked everywhere? I have not. I have searched everywhere. Where could she be? She may be in danger. Oh, no, no, no. What am I to do? Calm yourself, Sedith. Professor, we shall continue our discussion another time. Okay, and with that, we are going to go ahead and wrap this one up. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel, and I will talk to you guys next time. Goodbye.